Hi everyone, it's Sheila and happy Thursday. One more day and we're home free for the weekend. I am so looking forward to it because it has been a long week, a really long week for me. I, it's, I feel like I'm still experiencing jet lag. I really am. Voice is still raspy and uh, oh yeah. Anyway, all right, well today is a continuation from yesterday's video decorating with me for spring in my living room. Today we're gonna to finish up by installing some blinds and also hanging up some curtains. Usually in the springtime, I like changing up my decor by changing the color of my curtains or, you know, getting some new ones. It kind of gives new life to your, your home. I don't know, I just think curtains really does a lot for your decor. And sometimes if you come look around, you can do it pretty cheaply. Well, today I picked up a pair from Home Goods. I think I paid around 20 bucks for them. They're just simple grommet style curtains. And also I, the blinds I picked up are these right here. They're just the Better Homes and Garden two inch faux wood mini blinds. I think I paid $16.42 a piece for them. Now, originally I went to JCPenney's and ordered me some mini blinds, but when I got them, I, they sent me the inside mount instead of the outside mount. So I guess I told a lady wrong, so I couldn't use them. So I kind of sent them back, got my money back, and I just went to Walmart, which I should have done to begin with, but one day I was there and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and order them since I knew the size of the window. Well, you know, I should just went to, you know, good old Walmart and picked them up. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do today. And then if we got time, we're gonna do a little chit chat after the video. I got something to tell y'all, okay? All right, so let me get the camera turned around Get everything hooked up because I got to drill some holes for my blinds so we can get them hung up. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, first off, sorry about the glare, but these are my blinds I have installed right now. You can see they're just those little cheap um, little plastic ones. And these got to go. I mean, they snap the easiest I've ever seen in my entire life. Anyway, we're going to remove these. So sorry about the glare, you all. I'm very, very sorry, but I'm going to do my best to shoot it where y'all can see what I'm doing, okay? Okay, there's one down. I'll probably save these, so when we move out, I can just take, um, put them back up or leave them for the next person. One down, one to go. <laughs> Well, that's this is taking it down. <laughs> I love power tools. <laughs> I feel so powerful. <laughs> I got both of them down, so now let's go get the other ones to hang up. Come with these things right here. All right, I got those hung up. Those are the brackets that I need to hang up the other um, blind with. So I just use them now just to make sure my measurements are right. <laughs> Be kind of awful if I'm wrong. Here is my blind. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, now I'm gonna make some pilot holes. I got my little holes marked, and yes, I'm, I'll be able to get that off. Now I'm gonna drill me some pilot holes in it before I actually drill the screws. So let's get to that. All right, I had to make these pilot holes. Now these holes were already here from the previous blind, and I hate that, I couldn't reuse them, but I, it'll cover them up, so, and I can always pack patch these that when we move out so all right there's one down okay now since the brackets are installed as you can see yeah that was popped up um, that would just kind of close temporarily now we're going to insert the blind in the brackets here I'm gonna get my hubby to insert the blind into the brackets and also make sure you have it the right side <laughs> And then you pop it back down. Okay, now there's that. And now, 
All right, you hear that little snap? That's where the little turn thing is. Now these are the these are the cordless blinds where you just barely pull or you can push up. So it just got a safety on. That's what I like about it. So there's no cords where you would put put up and down. So now we're going to put this little top rail in, it's just for cosmetic purposes. Um, hon, you want to hand me that, please? That here is just a look. It looks like a louver, but it's got these little brackets right here where you would snap it onto the main thing and you hear it pop. Great. All right, you see the difference? So it covered up all your little hardware. Nice and smooth and seamless. Okay, also before we can pull it down, there's a little tab right here. You just pull it out. It's like a stopper tab that stops it from going up and down. So don't, it looks like a little key. So don't forget to pull that out of these. Because I made a mistake and I was yanking on the other one looking like an idiot. Okay, what I love about these blinds are they're, of course, they're cordless. But you can just pull them down like this. And then when you want to raise them, you just lift them up. And there they go. Down, and then just gotta push it up on itself and it goes right back up. Mm -hmm. Okay, just back them down. Alrighty, here is a view of how the blinds look. I think they look so much better than them plastic blinds. I am very, very happy with this. Alrighty, now we're gonna add some curtains here. Okay, sorry about the light, you all. It's coming from the overhead light, so it's kind of casting a shadow. Sorry about that, but we'll try to get this done pretty quick. Here are my curtains. They are a grommet style. That's my favorite style of curtains. I picked these up at, uh, oh, Marshall's, I'm sorry. And I got them on sale for $12. And they're just a simple design. They're like a white, like an off-white color. Just really simple. Just a brightness up in here because I did have some more cream, like a darker cream curtain. And I just want to bring some, a little bit lighter color. Um, and I didn't want it too, too white, but I think this will look pretty good. So I'm going to hang these up and my curtain right up here. I really like these. Um, they say extra wide too, that seems interesting. Hmm. Okay, let's get to hanging these curtains, shall we? Should be pretty quick and easy to do that. came in a two panel pack, so I always kind of do it like this, like in, out, in, out, in, out, and then that's this way, and then that way I can just string it right through. A little piece of string there. Give me some scissors and get that clipped off. Make sure I don't have them on backwards. So in, say out, in, out, in, out, in, out in okay. there we go all right let's go hang these up uh, wasn't too keen on this being a bronze color I thought it may clash with this silver 
But now, that putting up there, I don't think it looks too bad at all. Okay. All right, let's go hang these curtains. Now, usually I would train my curtains. And what I mean by training my curtains, I don't want it to bellow out too, too much at the bottom. So what I usually do, I'll just go get some either spray starch or just water and a squirt bottle and I'll mist the curtain, seriously, all the way down. And I'll go get some kind of like a, maybe I'll tear some terry cloth strips because I don't want any like hard string and I'll, I'll tie, it. I'll go and I'll tie from the top to the bottom into the very, very bottom of the curtain and tie every so far and to kind of keep it about the size I want. And I let it stay like that for maybe a couple of days up to a week and let it start drying in that position. And then after about, a, like I said, about a few days, you can check up to a week. When you go and untie it, your curtain should stay in that size. So I've always, I think I learned that from my aunt, God, I think I was first married when she taught me that trick. So I've always did it that way. And I don't know if that's the right way you train curtains, but that's the way I've always done it and it's always worked. So, all right, so let's get on back, back down. down and kind of juice them a little bit, okay? Hang on. Hey, you all, well, there you are. There's my curtains, I got them all the way I want them. So let me bring y'all back up. Okay, here we are. Here are the curtains. I've just got some basic grommet style. It's like a little, it's like an off-white, a simple, simple, simple design on them. I just wanted something to refresh the color in here. And here are my new blinds I got installed. I love the way they look. There's such a big, huge difference. And now down here, I may have to work on training these curtains a little bit to kind of pleat some, but I'll work on that probably tomorrow. If not, we'll, I'll get them started. I'll start training on them. Now the training, like I said earlier, that's where I kind of mist it very lightly with water. And then I tie it with some terry cloths, um, kind of like from the top. And I'll go, go so far down and I just tie them in bunches all the way down. I leave it like that for almost a week. And then I untie and it stays and the all pleated very nicely and it don't bunch back out. I've been doing that for, oh gosh, probably since the, probably when I was a young girl, <laughs> but it's always worked And that. So if you ever got a problem where your curtains are bowing out, try that way. I promise it will work you out. Alrighty, look at that, it looks so good. And give y'all a better look here. I'll do a before and after on the blinds. I know this ain't much decorating, but I just love how it turned out. Now, coming up next, we're gonna work on this area up here. We're also gonna work on this wall over here. Now that I'm really super excited about. I got me a new shelf too. I picked one up at Hobby Lobby today. I'm so excited. I just love decorating for spring. And there is my floor arrangement I made yesterday. I love, love, love it. Cute, cute, cute. Well, there you are. Now, now we're gonna work on some fun things. Okay, let me turn the camera around and let's close this video out. Okay, and we're done, done, done. I'm just loving how this is, the spring refresh in my living room is turning out great. I've still got some things I got to do. We got to work on our wall. I got to throw some spring pillows on my couch. I've already added some yellow, but I'm gonna bring my little bunny pillows in here really soon. We're also gonna do a little DIY curtain over there. 
for my little Achilles heel. Young, yeah, if, for those who've been around me for a while, know what I'm talking about on that one. And we're also going, then we're going to start working our way into the dining room and the kitchen. Oh, we still got this whole house. I'm going to wrap this video up tonight. Um, it's getting a little late, so I got to get this thing edited. And we got to get it out to you. <laughs> Alrighty, well, come back on Saturday to see what I'm up to. I'm not sure what we're going to do, but... I'm sure we'll figure out some. Please, before you leave, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And also, if you're new here, I would be so honored to have you in my YouTube family. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always, I just love, love, love y'all coming back and see what I'm up to. I care so, so much for y'all. I, I, I will always thank y'all for watching and encouraging and commenting. Y'all are the best thing that's ever happened to me. There's so many times I've, to y'all are sick of hearing me say it. Y'all have no idea how much y'all mean to me. I'm going to go ahead and close it up, and I will see y'all on Saturday. Alrighty, well, until next time, sending all of my love from my home to yours. Happy decorating. Bye-bye.